Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add custom masks to images in WordPress using the Visual Composer website builder. You can use either the free or the premium versions because all you have to do is add an image and a little bit of CSS. So let's dig in. First I'll launch my site here with IndieStock, that's where I develop my sites. All right, now that we're in, the first thing we have to do is upload the image that we'll use as a mask. So to do that, let's open the media library and simply upload our image. We actually created 30 masks that you can download for free and use in any way you want. And you'll be able to access them in a blog post about the exact same topic. And I'll just leave the link down below. I already know that I want to use this mask, so I'll upload it. And another thing to note here is that by default, WordPress doesn't allow uploading SVG images. Um, so a way around that is to download a plugin. The plugin that I use is Safe SVG because it doesn't require any setting up. And of course, you can use other images that support transparency like PNG or WebB, but we suggest going with SVG because then your mask will be in a good quality no matter the size of the image. All right, now let's go to apply the mask. We have to go and open a page. I have already one created, but you can create a new one right here with Visual Composer. And now we have to add the image that we want to apply the mask to. So here in this empty column, I'm going to simply add a single image. and choose the image that I want. I have one in my media library already. And now we have to add an extra class name to this image, so I'll use mask. Now when that's done, we can move on to the CSS. So where we can add custom CSS is here in the settings and here in the custom CSS tab. All right, let's start with the CSS selector, which is going to be mask in this case same as our extra class name that we gave to the image. Now we have to show the editor which image to take as the mask. So we need the URL of our SVG image that we uploaded in the beginning. And uh, where we can get it is right here through this image. Simply click on edit, edit here as well. And here's the media library that we know and love. And here is the SVG image that we uploaded. And this is the URL that we need. So simply copy it. And let's go back to the custom CSS tab and paste it here. Now, to ensure that the mask will not repeat, we'll just write no repeat. And for the image to be centered, and of course you can choose any other alignment, but I'll choose center, we'll choose center. Next, we need to add a WebKit property to ensure compatibility with web browsers. So it's going to be just the same, almost. And here we go, we have the mask, but that's not it. I also want to adjust the size a little, so we need to add a mask size property here. And well, let's start with 100%. And again, we need that WebKit property. And here we go. Now the size is a little better, isn't it? But of course you can use other values and uh, units like pixels or ranks, for example, to adjust the size. And that is it for now. Now you can go crazy and choose any SVG image as a mask and lift up your design. So give us a like if you want to see more videos like these and I'll see you all next time.